Today we're going to do a review of Hilton Playa del Carmen, an adults only, all inclusive resort. We spent five nights here in April 2024. We paid for this ourselves. We were not giving a free or discounted stay in exchange for our thoughts. So stay tuned to see everything we liked and disliked about the resort. What was your favorite meal here? My favorite meal here was the burger at Maria Patrona. It was cooked perfectly, good prime meat. A um, second runner up was the breakfast at Pelicano's. It was actually Brittany's uh, chicken and waffles. That was a standout. What was your favorite meal here? So I had a couple different things. I really loved the tuna poke cable at um, Barefoot. Um, you can get that right poolside. I loved the corn cream soup at Maria Patrona. Salmon tostada over at Asiana. And then just as a mention, I just want to say that I really liked the desserts here across the board. Our first night, we didn't love them because they seemed to be a little overcooked. But typically when I travel, I don't like the desserts. And all the desserts here were really great. The donuts, everything was really fresh. I just want to kind of add that in there. Yeah, Asiana over at dessert was great. Yeah, the banana. I forgot about that. Yeah. All, all four. What did you think about the beach here? Um, it was a medium amount of seaweed. They do a good job of cleaning it up. Uh, narrow and thin beach, um, but it's, it's pretty good. What do you think about the beach? I thought it was decent. So this is just never a great stretch of beach. While we were here, there was minimal seaweed, um, but they do a really great job of cleaning it up. They have someone raking, they have a backhoe. Um, as Kev mentioned, it is pretty narrow. So I would never come here if you're just like a beach lover and that's you're just gonna sit here from sun up to sundown. I do wanna mention, in case anyone is not familiar, all beaches in Mexico are public. However, some are more secluded than others. So this beach, there will be locals that will be coming. They may put up beach chairs. They may put a towel down. Um, so you have to be okay with sharing the beach. If you're not okay with that, you wanna go somewhere that is a little further away from public access points. What did you think about the room? We had a junior suite pool view. I liked it. It was a great location, a very large in size, lots of room uh, close to the main pool, and we had chairs each day. What did you think about the room? So same, I really liked it a lot. Our air conditioning worked perfectly. It was freezing at all times, which is exactly what we want. Um, the location was perfect. I specifically chose a pool view room because they are all on the ground floor surrounding the main pool, and we like to be at the main pool. So I figured this was a, a really great spot to be, and it definitely was. We are steps from the pool. It's awesome to be able to come in, charge your phone, use the bathroom. Right now it's raining, so we just quickly escaped into our room. So really great location. Um, the room is very good size, lots of space. When I first walked in, I was like, okay, there's a lot of room in here. There's a very big jacuzzi tub. I am not a tub person, so I would not use it. But if you are a tub person, I would recommend that you get a little of the Oya cleaner and you let that run for 10 or 15 minutes. And I'll link that for you in um, the video's description. Um, but I think the room was great. I yeah. really had no complaints about it. Would you come back? Uh, probably not. I'd probably try another hill in. Um, I think there's a couple other closer to here. Um, again, it's always like the same. There's a million um, resorts in Cancun, this, you know, Cancun area. Would you come back? I wouldn't, but I did like it. So I think if you want to be in close proximity to Fifth Avenue, this is a great spot. I'm really glad that we gave it a shot. What was your favorite pool here? Uh, the main pool was my favorite pool. We had waiter service the whole time. We could be at our chairs. They would know we could be in the pool. They would know where we were and bring us drinks right to there. What was your favorite pool? So same. So basically there are three pools here. There's a quiet pool. There's the main pool, which is right behind us. And then there's what I'm going to call the activity pool. I don't know if it has a different name, but that's where you would play volleyball. Um, you did your aqua boxing. Mm -hmm. Spin bike bar. was over there. And the spin, uh, the spin bike. The swim up bar was over there. Um, so I do wish that the swim up bar was in the main pool, um, but it's not, um, but definitely still my favorite. And like Kev said, the servers here were awesome. They came around all the time and were always just so on it. 
What was your favorite thing about the resort overall? I really liked that the, the staff was friendly. Um, the breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the workers, the servers, the bartenders, and even the entertainment staff, they enjoyed working here. You could tell they were so friendly and appreciative. What was your favorite thing about the resort? So I have um, five things. Let's hope I can remember them all. I loved the proximity to Fifth Avenue. It's a great resort for people that want to go explore. The staff, all so, so friendly. Um, the food. I thought the food was really great given the lower price point of this resort. It's not super cheap, but it's definitely not expensive. And the food was all really good. Um, I loved that the entertainment, the shows started earlier. So your main show was at 8.30 p.m. And that was awesome for people like us that like to go to bed a little bit earlier. And then lastly, maybe like a silly one, but there were always pool and beach towels readily available here. Even at 5 p.m., there were still stacks of them. It's not uncommon for many resorts for like around four o'clock for there to be like no towels. That was not the case here at all. I was like shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, there, I mean, the, the towels were just so plentiful. So those were, um, those are my favorites. What's your favorite bar? The La Mejedora. It's the cantina, anything that they make. The bartenders, Charlie, Alan, and Martha make. What's your favorite bar? Same. The Mixology bar here. It's just terrific. We're actually in here now, so let's go get a drink. What's your favorite drink? Anything at the La Mejedora. They make everything with, uh, if you ask just for rum or tequila, anything they make. What do you, what do you, what's your favorite drink? So I'm gonna go same thing for during the day. I'm gonna go frozen mojitos by the pool. And then at night, you just tell them what you want and you get this beautiful creation. So I just said that I was having something sweet with Malibu and I got a beautifully decorated something with coconut uh, rum and passion fruit. The second runner up though at the pool was my blue wine with rum. Cheers. Cheers. the resort from a 1 to a 10, 10 being the best. I'd rate it 7.6. What would you rate it? 7.3. What would you change about the resort? I would change about the resort. The tequila bar wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. The service wasn't as great. Um, maybe I'd have to try it again. Also, the 24-hour lounge, you can't take the plates out, which I never knew the first time. I tried getting peanuts, popcorn, <laughs> and some, uh, what are the, potato... Like um, some hot food, like potato hot, balls. Potato balls. Kevin nearly take out. got tackled. I mean, nearly got tackled, no, and real. Brittany wis witnessed that tonight with another couple. Um, she almost got tackled. The <laughs> they lady. were trying to take nachos out. or just It was like chips, salsa, and guac. And when I tell you, the bartender ran he did. and got Same guy. her at the door. Same yeah. guy. And also, change it up. It's not actually 24 hours, it says. It's open from 12 to 11, so that's 11 hours. So switch they that up. They should call it a sports bar because yeah. that's really what it is. And make it open 24 hours. What about you? What would you change about the resort? So the liquor hours here are from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now they, the resort, has the ability to change that. It is a Mexican law, but you can get a permit in order to serve different hours, which is what most resorts do. Now this didn't really affect us because we usually go to bed 9 30 or so so this didn't bother us but one night we stayed out till about 10 and what we found was that people were going hard because they were like double fisting they were pounding because they knew the drinks were ending and i just i didn't love that you know of course i would like to get a mimosa in the morning so like that was like eh, but like it really didn't bother me but i would like to see it change there's a lot of upsells here liquor like my fur when I first got here I was like oh you know can I get a margarita what type of tequila do you have Patron or um, 1800 or Don Julio which is normally what I drink and they were like yeah for an upcharge and I was like nope give me whatever you got um, same with like coconuts they come around by the pool every day and want to give you coconut water those are $12 now a lot of resorts do you know upcharged things it just felt very heavy here also, a lot of resorts come around with things on a cart by the pool that are not an upcharge. So I just kind of felt like they didn't need to do so much upcharging. I'd like a real app. 
what they have is a web page which I keep losing and I have to keep scanning the QR code in order to get to see the activities and the restaurants and things like that and if there was an app I would like it to be interactive to the point that I could order room service through it or say hey I didn't get housekeeping can I get that and the restaurants rotate so I would like to see that in the app as well like hey here's what's open now how it currently works is, at least the only place I know, is by the coffee shop, there's a list by meal of what's gonna be open that day. I'd love to be able to just see it on the app so you didn't have to go to the lobby. Um, it would, would have been really nice if the main pool had a pool bar attached to it. So the pool bar is just across the way, but you have to get out of the pool and into another pool. And I just would have loved to see it be, you know, one continuous, very large pool for the pool bar. And then lastly, this is just going to be like a me thing, but better chairs. I mm, hate yeah. cheap Sorry. pool seats. We could like barely get out of them. They're like a little like saggy. They're just not comfortable. I always say cheap seats and I'm not really referring to the seats themselves. I'm more referring when you go to a baseball game. Kevin loves baseball. So I'll mm. be like, oh, are we in the cheap seats? So it's just, it's nah. not even about the seats, which the seats do seem cheap, but I'm just referring to like baseball seats or like a concert when you're like way up high on the nosebleeds. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, speaking of seats, I would like to see more chairs at the pool. Um, be, so how it works now is the main pool is has cabanas for rent and pretty much everything around the pool is a cabana. So if you would just want a free chair, they're behind the cabanas. I'd love to see them add a few more free options just because the Bali beds are not something that I'm interested in free or paid. I like a regular chair with an umbrella and I'd love to be able to be poolside. Ultimately, we knew that going in and that's why we upgraded our room to the pool view. So that's gonna do it for our what would we change. All right, Kevin, final question. Do you have any extras to add? I really enjoyed the dessert to Asiana. I think I might've hinted on it before about the food. What I love. I also love the masquerade show was very good at the for the entertainment and their entertainment staff was very nice and uh, the pineapple beer at the 24-hour bar slash 11-hour lounge was good for a, a Mexican beer and usually the beer is like hit or miss so what, what was your what's your extras? That's all you got? Woo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay so this resort here has a very lively vibe on the weekends um, Based on the resorts we have been to, I would say that it's the most similar to the Valentin Imperial Maya. Um, during the week, it's a little more relaxing and chill, but Thursday through Sunday, it is definitely busy, much higher occupancy. They even open in a different bar outside only on Thursday through Sunday um, because there's so many people. Great spot for groups. We have seen so many groups, bachelor, bachelorette parties, um, really good spot. The people that we've talked to said that they chose it because of the proximity to um, Fifth Ave and also that it's close to excursions if you're looking to go off-site. The reservation system was very easy for dinner. They're accepted but they're not required. Parties of two could get right in as long as there's space. The deadline to make your reservation is 5 p.m. that day. So if you arrive around 5 p.m. and you want to eat 7, 8 o'clock, no problem. Just walk up to whatever restaurant and if there's space there will seat you. When you arrive, if you do want to make dinner reservations, you can make them all right there when you arrive. It doesn't have to be like, oh, you only make it for two or three days. Um, Everyone that we talked to, it seems like most people, parties of two, were not making reservations. They were just walking up. Anytime we wanted to make a change to our reservation, go in a little earlier or and go later, no problems. The hostess was all very, very nice at each restaurant. Turndown service is by request only now. Um, that must be a new change because when I inquired if they did it, the concierge said that now it is only by request, so we were able to do that. Um, when we arrived, we asked for room cleaning early, so they said that they're, they started their cleaning at 9 a.m., so we asked for it you know, between 9 and 10 a.m., and then um, for the turn down, because we go, like to go to bed a little earlier, we asked for it around 7 o'clock. That way, give it a little leeway, and if we were in the room by 9, 
then it would already have the turndown service. They offer tons of fitness classes here, so if that's something that you're interested in, I think you'd be really happy here. A lot of them you do need to reserve it 24 hours in advance, so just be mindful of that. You can either do it on the little app webpage thing, or you can do it directly with the concierge. The staff here were all so kind. They remembered you, they remembered your drinks, especially at the pool. They came by every five to 10 minutes, always with a full tray. We've been to a lot of resorts. Yeah, I, I always was commenting like, wow, that was that drink was made very fast. We've been to resorts where sometimes they don't come back to your chair for 30, 40 minutes. It was not like that at all. Like they were on it. Like you couldn't finish your drink before they wanted to bring you another one. Um, so I thought that was really good. Be sure that you're tipping the people that are really enhancing your vacation. So if you're like, yeah, they were on, you know, the drinks, they were on top of it all day. They're running around all day in the heat. So just make sure that you're tipping if you're able to. I really liked the um, smoking policy here. There is only one place to smoke and it's right out in the front lobby. That's it. So if you are a non-smoker like we are, it's a really awesome place. I love that it's enforced because it is a rule here in Mexico that you cannot smoke in public places and they do a great job about enforcing that. So I think that that's really great. And there are only four a la carte um, dinner restaurants here. There is also a paid option, that's the chef's plate, and there is a dinner buffet, but currently that's only going three days a week. So technically you do have six dinner options if you include all of them. It really depends on the day of the week and if you're looking to pay extra or not. And. The information that we provided today is accurate as of today, but always policies, everything can change. So I do my best to give you the information and if something changes down the road, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but overall, um, we really liked this resort. I think it's a good vibe, great for groups, awesome if you plan to go off site and try a lot of the local foods or do a bunch of excursions. I think it's really great. If you have questions, just leave them down below. If you'd like to book this resort, I would love to help you. I'm a travel agent who specializes in Mexico and the Caribbean, so this is all that I do. You can submit a quote request and we can start chatting and get you some pricing. If you did not see our daily vlogs, we have daily vlogs um, one through five and those are going to detail the resort from sunup to sundown and those will probably be pretty helpful. So if you didn't see those and this is the first video that you're seeing, hello, <laughs> welcome to the channel. We, Give it a thumbs up. We are so glad to have you here and we hope that these videos were helpful to you. If they were, give a thumbs up because that really helps YouTube. It spreads our videos to other people. We will see you really soon in another vlog series. Where we are going next, we are going to Coco Plum Island in Belize. So we're really excited to be going to that little private island over there. So definitely come Same. back. Yeah, definitely come back to watch those and we will see you really soon.